the Poisson probability distribution. The Poisson distribution can be used to model discrete events that occur randomly, independently of each other, at a mean rate lambda. So x is a discrete random variable. It gives the number of events that occur in a given interval of time or space. And lambda is a mean rate at which events occur. In the OCR formula book, there is a formula for calculating Poisson probabilities. The mean and the variance are both the same for the Poisson distribution. Example 1. A radioactive substance is emitting particles at a mean rate of 5 per second. X represents the number of particles emitted. X can take the value 0, so no particles are emitted, or 1, or 2, or 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There is no upper limit to the Poisson distribution. The uppercase X here is a discrete random variable. So this is our random variable. And the value that it takes is represented by the lower case X. So to work out the probability that four particles are emitted in a one second interval, we want to calculate the probability that x equals 4. So we have e to the power of minus lambda, lambda is 5, times lambda to the power of x, and x is 4, divided by x factorial, and x is 4, which gives 0 0.175. We can also use the cumulative Poisson tables in a similar way to the cumulative binomial tables. So if we're looking for a probability that x is equal to 4, we need to look up less than or equal to 4, and the probability that x is less than or equal to 3, and then subtract. So we need to subtract these two, giving a probability of 0 0.1755. This is slightly different to the value that we obtained from the formula because we are using rounded values here. The formula gave us this. So we can use the cumulative Poisson tables to calculate the probability that x is equal to 4. Example 2. The value of lambda is now 2, and we're looking for the probability that x is less than 4. Less than 4 means we need to look up the probability that x is less than or equal to 3 from the tables. So lambda is 2, and less than or equal to 3 gives 0 0.8571. To work out the probability that x is at least 3, we need to do 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. So less than or equal to 2 from the tables is 0 0.6767, which gives 0 0.3233. To work out the probability that x is between 3 and 7 inclusive, we first work out the probability that x is less than or equal to 7, and then we subtract from that the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. So you look up the highest value there, 7, and you go 1 below the lowest one.
2. The reason for this is that we're looking for 3 to 7, but when you look up 7, you've actually looked up all of these probabilities. 7 means less than or equal to 7, so everything from 0 to 7, and the bit you do not want from this is the 0, the 1 and the 2, which is less than or equal to 2. So we need to subtract this part off. So to get rid of this, we look up, we look up the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. The probability that there is at least one emission is the probability that x is greater than or equal to 1, which is 1 minus the probability that x is equal to 0, which is 1 minus the probability that x is equal to 0, Example 3. The value of lambda is 3 per second. 3 in a 1 second interval. So the time here is in seconds. So for a 2 second interval, times 2, times 2, then lambda is 6. For a 5 second interval, we multiply by 5, we multiply by 5, then lambda is 15. And so you can modify the value of lambda. So to work out the probability that we have exactly 5 emissions in a 2 second interval, we have to use lambda as 6. So we have the following Poisson distribution. We can use the tables in this case to work out the probability that x is equal to 5. We need to work out the probability that x is less than or equal to 5 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 4, which give lambda is 6, less than or equal to 5, 0 0.4457. less than or equal to 4, 0 0.2851. Example 4, we have Poisson distribution, which has a mean of 10. The mean and the variance are both lambda, so they are equal. So the variance is 10. So the standard deviation, which is the square root of the variance, will be root 10. Example 5, the value of lambda is given, and the probability is given this time. We need to calculate the value of t. It's an easy one, because we have less than or equal to. So we go to the tables for lambda is 11, and look up this probability. Lambda is 11, here's the probability, and there's the value of x, 13. So this value here is 13. Example 6, Px less than or equal to 15 is 0 0.9862. The value of lambda is unknown, so we go to the tables, and we need to look along the row where x is 15, and search for this probability. So here's 15, 0 0.9862 is not here. Looking along 15 here, here's the value, 0 0.9862. And the value of lambda we're looking for then is 8.5. Example 7, a typist is making 4 mistakes per page. So lambda is equal to 4 per page. T pages were typed. In these T pages that were typed, the probability that at most 9 mistakes 
were made is 0 0.1094. What is the value of lambda? The answer is not 4. Lambda is 4 for one page typed, but t pages were typed, so lambda is modified. We need to work out this modified value. So when lambda is 4, one page was typed, and the number of pages typed is t, we need to work out the value of lambda here. So let's scan the probability tables for less than or equal to 9 and this probability. So scanning through all the tables for less than or equal to 9 until we come to the probability that we're looking for, 0 0.1094. And here it is. That gives a lambda value of 14. So lambda is 14. Now that we know the value of lambda, we can work out the value of t. So the multiplier here, by dividing, gives 3.5. So we do the same on this side, times 3.5. So 1 times 3.5 gives 3.5. So t is 3.5. So by working out the value of lambda, the modified value of lambda, we've now worked out that the number of pages typed was 3.5.